Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button now. Got lots more reviews and comparison videos coming soon. But on the turntable today, I've got the BBR models Ferrari LaFerrari Aperta finished in metallic white. Now we're going to be discussing a couple of BBR models that I've got that have tripled in value over the few years that I've had them. So this video would be following on from the last few videos that I've posted in regards to the diecast collection, how much I've spent on my diecast collection and how much it is currently worth today. So now that we've done the diecast collection, I'm going to be touching on some of the resin model cars that I've got in my collection that have significantly gone up in value since I bought them. So I wanted to start off with the LaFerrari Aperta. So I've had this now for four years and um, bought this directly from BBR Models. Um, and I think I paid 350 euros for this model back in 2017, which um, which is a long time ago. Um, the exchange rate is um, completely different to what it was then to now. Um, but I think in pound sterling, this model cost me around 300 pounds uh, or just under. So um, really not that expensive in the grand scheme of resin models. Um, now resin models cost anywhere upwards of 400 to 450 pounds. Um, so I, as I say, I spent around 300 pounds on this model car. Now, um, firstly, there's not one on eBay in white. Um, and I haven't never seen one on eBay in white. BBR limited this model to 36 pieces worldwide in metallic white with the black pinstripe running across the front bonnet and over the engine bay. So firstly, they're extremely rare. Uh, this is number eight out of 36 pieces. Um, so I've never seen one listed for sale on eBay um, in white. There is currently one, I think, um, on eBay right now in red. Um, I think they made uh, more models in red. And even they're selling for around eight hundred pounds, uh, which is which is way way more than what I paid for it brand new. Uh, and I, I start to really um, think that these older BBR models are starting to go up um, in value. I think a lot faster than the MR collection models, um, just because of their rarity. So as I say, this is number thirty six um, in terms of um, limited edition. Um, 36 is extremely rare when you start to look at the um, MR collection numbers in terms of they do 99 models. Um, so it is very rare and in this colour specification it stands out as well. So it's not the typical red ones or the black ones that they did for press release. It's a um, quite highly desirable one in white which um, I've actually had numerous people on Instagram sending me DMs. Um, you know, can you sell this car to me? Um, what do you want for it? And um, it's not for sale for the time being, but um, it's just one of those cars that has gone up drastically in um, in value and um, one that I think will continue to do so in the future. So um, that is the LaFerrari Aperta. Let me know what you guys think in the comments on the model. Um, and I'll bring out another one that I've got that's tripled in value since I bought it on the same year of this car. So um, again, it's from BBR Models, but let's put that on the um, on the turntable now. So the second model car that I've got on the turntable, um, again, is from BBR Models. It is the Pagani Huayra BC finished in the metallic orange specification. Now this model is limited to just 24 pieces worldwide. Uh, so I th this is the, um, the rarest model car that I've got in the collection. And this model is number seven out of those 24 pieces finished in this color specification. And uh, well, firstly it is a truly exceptional 
and highly detailed model car. Um, absolutely one of the best in my resin model car collection. Um, and again, like the LaFerrari Aperta, I bought this back in 2017, direct from BBR Models, um, for around the same price as the LaFerrari Aperta, around the £300 mark. And um, again, like the LaFerrari, I have never seen one for sale on eBay in orange. Um, I've seen a couple in uh, the light blue, the blacks, the silvers um, that BBR made, but never in the metallic silver. Now, for me, when I first put a deposit down on the model, I wanted to get the Pagani in a, um, a rare color, one that we haven't seen before. I felt the press color, the, the silver one, wasn't didn't suit the car very well. Um, but this orange and carbon fiber specification um, absolutely, for me, is the best one to get. It just looks phenomenal. Um, but again, due to their rarity, prices of these have absolutely gone through the roof. Um, but what I can't what I can't say categorically is um, for the Huayra BC and the LaFerrari Aperta, I can't say what they're worth today because I've never seen one for sale on eBay. Uh, they're so rare and uh, so sought after that I, I, I can't say um, one sold for this amount of money or one sold for that amount of money. Um, what I can say is that they are significantly um, worth more than what I paid for them back in 2017. And even though that was four years ago, these model cars have at least gone up threefold in their value. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it's more than that. And I feel that these two models will just continue to rise up in value due to their rarity. Um, one's, to, one's limited to 24 pieces, the Huayra, and the LaFerrari is limited to uh, 36 pieces. And they're both in very unique color specifications. Um, the the Huayra is in metallic orange, which is quite rare. And the LaFerrari is in this lovely metallic white color, uh, which you just don't see many of um, in general. So um, I feel that these two models have definitely at least tripled in value. Uh, love to hear from you guys in the comments about what you think. Um, but nevertheless, please like and subscribe to the video. And um, I've got lots more uh, videos planned and comparison videos coming soon. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.